We all know about those virus ads and websites that claim that you can simply download more RAM or download a faster GPU. Well, I just recently discovered that technically you can download a higher refresh rate monitor. Or for a more sensible explanation, you can overclock your monitor. Now how is this done? Well, stay tuned to find out, but what I can say is that it doesn't even require some open source GitHub application. It's literally built into your PC. Let me show you. Now before we start, I have a AMD card, so I can't walk you through how to set this up on the Nvidia control panel. But for the people who want to do this that use Nvidia GPUs, simply Google how to create a custom resolution on the Nvidia control panel and that should lead you in the right direction. Now let's get started. Okay now for my fellow AMD users all you need to do is go to the AMD software and then go up to the settings icon and then go to display and then pick the display that you want to do this on. So I'm going to do this on my main display so I'll click display 2. And then you simply want to go down here to custom resolutions for you. If you have never done this before, it will ask you to agree to something. But once you agree to it, you just go to custom resolutions and you can see that I already have one here. Now, the way you want to create this is you will need to do a little bit of testing because you can definitely cause some issues if you try to shoot to 120 hertz and you start at 60. So what I would say that you do is just go up by 10. But if you want to create this, just go to create new, then you want to go to the refresh rate hertz this is all you want to focus on don't focus on anything else unless you do want to create another resolution so what you would do is if you are starting at 60 if you're starting at 75 you want to try maybe shooting up to 70 if you are natively at 60 and if you're at 75 maybe even try 90 but every monitor is different so my monitor can go up to 110 while yours might only be able to go up 10 hertz so i'll try 70 and then create your monitor will flicker and then you're back and then you'll see that it created one here now what you need to do from here is you need to go to your settings and then go to your display settings and i'll meet you there okay now once you're at your display settings you then want to just go to the monitor that you're trying to do this on click on it and then go down here until you see advanced display and then you should see the choose a refresh rate. Now, if I look, you'll see that it also has 110 hertz and 70. And you'll see that when I click it, things will change. But then you'll see that it says keep these display settings. Now, if you press escape here, then it will revert. And this is good for if this causes any glitching. So I'll click escape. And then you see that I'm right back at 60. So whenever you are running into any issues if you can't click escape just wait don't try turning off your system just wait and it will revert back if you don't if you don't confirm the changes now what i'm going to do is now that i have showed you how to do this you can now just create and then just keep testing this i found 110 but now you want to actually test to see if this works now currently i am on ufo test refresh rate now this is what you see all of the cool youtubers using where they're testing the refresh rate or looking at the differences between a higher refresh rate and a lower refresh rate but in this case this will actually fetch your system's settings i guess and see what refresh rate you are on so as you can see i'm on my native refresh rate right here before you set it and you can see that I am indeed on 60 Hertz and then if I was to go to my settings and then go to my display settings advanced display and then go to 110 Hertz and then keep changes you'll see that if I go back to UFO test refresh rate it has now jumped up to 109.996 or technically if you round that that is 110 Hertz now the only issue with this is there may be artifacting and i have tested this in youtube videos all you need to do is go to a maybe a gameplay video like fortnite or something and just put it in full screen and try watching the video and if you get any artifacting at the top of the screen which i got then you want to keep going down now 110 hertz is not going to work for me because i do get artifacting at the top of my screen but if you don't then you are good but that is one of the things that you will have to look out for now as you can see this is working pretty good you will get some screen tearing if you are not playing a game that is up to the refresh rate that's technically how screen tearing works and that is why vsync is a thing so if you manage to get your monitor up to 120 hertz somehow then you will need to make sure that you use frame generation or your game can natively get 120 hertz so yeah that is pretty much it